Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcoming you all back to another episode of Let's Play Mega Man 4. Right, so in the last episode we finished up Dr. Cossack's castle, and guess what? We're moving on to Dr. Wily's castle. Yep, we got another castle to go through. Great! <laughs> Which means more deaths, I bet. Right, okay, so at least I know what I'm doing for this stage, and what the boss is and everything, and what I need to do on it, so... Yeah, the boss does look kind of a pain in the ass, and... <laughs> I kind of want to have some energy tanks, but I wasted them all in that last boss fight, I think, against Dr. Cossack, so now I'm on, now I'm struck down to one energy tank. Now if you watch my Banjo-Kazooie episode that I uploaded today, I mentioned about new LPs and stuff. Um, I also want to say that uh, Mother 1 and Earthbound might be a possibility, I'll have to decide between the two. Because I do want to redo Earthbound again. I've been talking about it for a while that I wanted to, um, d like remaster it and redo it again just to improve on it. So, yeah, y you could look. Th there is also a possibility that could be uh, the next LP, Earthbound or Mother One. So, I just wanted to get that out there and let you guys know. Alright, so we've got more lovely spike gauntlets to go through. Right, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you th from what I've seen of this, this looks like quite a pain in the ass. Uh, I'm not good at these. I wasn't in Mega Man 2, and I'm probably not going to be in this game either. And the hard hats don't make it any easier either, so yeah, you can get out of here. Alright, can I just... yeah, you just walk across that. It's fine. Ah, uh, that jump right there. That jump right there looks really tricky. Um... Whoa, huh. Okay, that was way too close. I could have literally went straight into that spike on the roof there. Um, yeah, just tap it. It's alright. Ah, well, there you go. I think the nightmare's over now, so... Don't need to worry about those spikes anymore, so I'm going to get out my dive missile just to get rid of this thing on the floor so it doesn't become a nuisance. And yeah, we got more of these invisible disappearing blocks. Well, you know what you could do? You could just use Rush Coil, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can, but we could always give it a try. Well, that didn't work out too good. How about here? Well, that works. Yeah, so you could just skip all over that crap. Uh, and you could use Rush Jet here as well, so we might as well. Well, not while the blocks just appeared. Um, just wait for the blocks to go. It might work, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, it's always worth a try. Well, yeah, it did. Alright, okay. And then we could just use uh, the wire. And. Well. Not like. And just wait for the block to appear. And boom. Well, there you go. That's an easier way of doing it. You don't have to hang around and do all that spiky bullshit. So if it, you guys never knew about that, then there you go. That's a new secret way of doing it. <laughs> I just did it out of my instinct. I, I just thought, well, it'd be easy, you know, to use the wire and rush jet and in those situations. Right, there you go, E-Tank. So at least we've got two E-Tanks to back me up here. Um, I'm not looking very forward to this boss fight, though, however. <laughs> Hang on a second. I uh, just made a save state, but I don't know if you die. Like, if you die, you end up, like, right in front of the boss. I think you have to do the last portion of the stage again. But yeah, it's basically just a giant hard hat. And what you have to do, you have to shoot it, obviously. And, um, try and slide underneath it. But, yeah, you can't go too, um, crazy with it. Otherwise, you're gonna get hit. So you can't, like, stand there, keep on shooting. Oh, are you kidding me? No way. Well, it looks like I am restoring the save state then. <laughs> and I'll probably have to use another energy tank as well. Which I'm not really too proud of because I don't want to use another energy tank on this. Okay, yeah, just stand here. It's fine. Yeah, and he will send out his minions to come kill you. Obviously. And um, what the hell? I just got gang raped up against the wall there. I got gang raped up against the wall and I couldn't do anything. Couldn't do a damn thing. Well. You could also use your Mega Buster to charge it up and shoot, but, you know, I might try that. And uh, that was probably not a very good place to stand, because now he's going to... Uh, 
Well, I could... I think the best way just to take care of him is try and get him on one side of the screen. I didn't even charge my Mega Buster there, what the heck happened? I have no idea. I don't even know what this guy's weakness is, whether he has a weakness or not. I, I don't know, but I might end up using both of my energy tanks on this guy, I don't know. Sometimes he jumps really far, and then sometimes he just makes a tiny-ass jump like that. And we haven't really taken much damage against him either, so... I might have to find out what this guy's weakness is. Yeah, I died again. Yeah, this is gonna be another one of those episodes where I start getting stuck on the bosses and then keep and then breeze through the stage. Cause what I've seen on this boss is quite tricky. So I'm not expecting to do, you know, extremely good on this. Ah, oh, he got me again. I'm stuck. Okay, word of advice. Don't stand in the friggin' corner. <laughs> Hmm, I do have an idea, but I don't know if it'll work. It, it will work for a while, but... Ah... Uh, you can't... Oh, you can't use... Yeah, you can. You can use Rush Jet. But you could, you could use him to get over him, but... Like, to jump over him. His big ass. Uh, I'm gonna have to use another energy tank. You know what, I'm going to try and experiment here and find out what this guy's weakness actually is. So I'm going to use uh, Drill and see. No, Drill doesn't work. How about um, Dive? Dive doesn't work. Uh, Pharaoh? Oh, Pharaoh. Pharaoh works. Yeah, that seemed to do quite good damage, actually. Much better than what the arm cannon was anyway. No, I... See... Er, I hate trying to slide sometimes on this emulator. I don't know what it is with sliding in this game, I just can't get the hang of it. Okay, uh... Well, I've just run out of Pharaoh, so we could try Toe Rain, see if that works. Uh, Toad Rain doesn't do anything. Alright, fair enough. Uh, dust? How about Dust? Uh, well, he, d he gets affected by Dust, but he doesn't, he doesn't really have a weakness then, does he? Not, oh, well, no, Dust actually does quite good damage. To, to be honest. I think dust is his weakness. I mean, look at that damage. Look at that damage, boy. Okay, I just gotta make sure I slide at the right time. Ah, oh. Yeah, he got a cheeky defeat there. Cheeky defeat. So, uh, I probably won't even bother using Pharaoh until I got him, like, really down to low health. I might as well just keep on using dust. Yeah, because look, dust does quite a lot of damage, so I'm fine with just sticking with this weapon. Okay, yeah, another energy tank. Ooh. Yeah, that is doing really good damage. Just try not to get hit by his hard hats, that's all. And uh, now we can just use Pharaoh for the rest, I think. He just needs one more hit. There we go! <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad, I guess, we just had to use a lot of our power-ups. Uh, that's all. That's all there is to it. Uh, so yeah, if you if you want to be really hardcore, I guess you could use your Mega Buster, but yeah, it's much easier just to do it that way, defeating with your Dust weapon. See, I knew that he had a weakness, but I just didn't know what it was. I had to experiment there for a minute. <laughs>
Okay, so this is the final Dr. Wily stage before the skull, which is the infamous boss gauntlet rush. Um, well, you could use drill to break that open, can't you? I imagine. No, you, well, alright, okay, you can't use drill. Because there are some walls you can break open with drill, but obviously not that one. <laughs> okay. Spikes everywhere. I don't like spikes. <laughs> Don't like spikes at all. Yeah, I like Drill Man's weapon, but I like using them against the robots. Uh, I can definitely pick that up. Do with picking that up. So that will give us two back, right? <laughs> hmm. So there you go. That was, oh yeah, that's not too bad. All right. So okay. Well, that is bad, but <laughs> uh. That's not game over though, so that's fine. The U tank won't respawn, so I don't need to do that again. <laughs> Might as well just use my Mega Buster for for now. So I don't think I'll be needing other, any other weapon for the stage anyway. Oh, I was literally about to dive straight into that spike. Oh my god! No more spikes. No more spikes. Good. Because I'm done with spikes. <laughs> Hmm. Got any more dive left? Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. So we need to be saving up on that rush jet energy then, because I don't want to waste too much and not get through the stage, you know. All oh, right. There's one of these guys. What is he gonna give us? Oh, just power for my weapon? Are you serious? Can you give me something a little bit more, you know, useful? Huh. <laughs> not that I really needed it, but. Yeah, these rooms are not so bad, I guess. Just got the caterpillars on all those spikes on the floor and stuff. So for the majority, basically Dr. Wily's stage isn't really that long, you know. Because you've already been through a long-ass castle that had four stages in it. And technically this castle does have four stages if you count. Um... If you count the boss gauntlet stage as being a stage, and then obviously after the boss gauntlet, you fight the the pre-final bosses that has been in other Mega Man games. You know, you fight the final boss in the castle on the boss gauntlet stage, but then another stage appears straight after. All right, gonna have to use Rush Coil here as well, aren't we? Getting all those rush, getting all the rush. Uh, well, that didn't help out much. Huh. Alright. Yeah, but if you step on it, you know. Hmm. It'd be easier just to do it this way. I don't know. Yeah, well. That didn't work either, you serious? Well, there you go. Huh. Ooh, that doesn't look nice. Spikes at the bottom. Gotta love any Mega Man that ga game that gives you spikes. Whereas in the first one, they didn't put any spikes in it. It was only like spikes were only introduced in Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 1. They didn't have any, as far as I recall. They just had really hard enemies to kill. That was like basically the obstacle in that game was just trying to kill all the enemies, and I just got myself killed by running into the spikes, blatantly running into them. Great. Uh, well, that's not game over, so. <laughs> Where are we anyway? All oh, right, where the mummies are. So I bet I was right, right near the boss as well. Then I don't know. Uh, this stage doesn't seem that hard, but no, he wasn't that far off. I guess. But if I get game over, obviously I'll make the cut. I'm not going to show me doing this stage again because I'll probably spend most of the time trying to fight the boss and you don't want to see me sat there for about half an hour beating the boss and then another extra half an hour trying to get through the bloody stage. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm not falling in the spikes, not now. Uh, 
This is my last extra life, here it is. Well, I know I'm gonna die against the boss anyway. <laughs> and if I do, I can pick myself up a third E-Tank on the way to the boss by completing the stage again. So, uh, all in all, I don't really care if I get a game over. Because either way, it's gonna benefit me in some way or other. And I do like playing these games, so, you know, I don't really mind doing the stage over again. It's just fun to shoot things. <laughs> Alright, okay, here we go, this is it. I'm not gonna waste any of my e tanks here. So if I die, I die. If I don't, I don't. It's simple as that. And if I do die, I get all my weapon power back as well, so it's beneficial in that aspect as well that I get all my... So what you have to do for this boss anyway, I'm just rambling on, you have to shoot the green thing on the top of his head. Like that, and I don't know what this guy's weakness is, and I'm probably not even gonna bother trying to find that out either, so I'm just gonna spam the crap out of it. God, when you hit like that, you can't... Can you even use your Mega Buster charged up to... I don't know. Oh, screw this guy. As soon as you get on the platforms, you start shooting that big, gigantic dodgeball at you. Urgh. Damn it. Well... Oh well, like I said, it is beneficial in some ways that I do get a game over, so I will see you at the boss, I guess. Um, yeah. Alright guys, I'm back. <laughs> okay, we're guaranteed not to die this time. Look how many energy tanks I grinded for. I grinded for 9 energy tanks at the start of the level. So yep, we are ready and set to go. <laughs> okay, alright. Obviously I wanted to do the grinding on screen, I'm not going to show you me doing the grinding on the screen, because I'd have been sat there for ages. A waste in time. I also got some extra lives as well, so yeah, I, I guarantee we're not gonna die against this boss. If we do, I am a stupid, stupid ass. If I do, which I, which I actually did, I actually died, and I didn't use any of my energy tanks. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you clinically insane in the membrane? You didn't use an energy tank, dude. Okay, alright. Well, I've, I've come into this boss fight without full health, so I'm not on full health right now. Um, so, yeah. I don't even know what this guy's weakness is, like I said. So, we're just gonna do it. Technically. Oh, god, dude. You need to calm down with that shit. Calm down with that fire. I don't I really don't want to waste all my energy tanks on one boss, because that's stupid, if that happens, because uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't really have to. I guess jumping helps, obviously. Oh my god, dude, I'm getting raped up the ass by those things. Why are those balls that you're shooting at me? Yeah, oh, this ain't turned out to be so good. <laughs> Not as good as I had hoped. But if I do lose energy tanks, I lose energy tanks, and nothing I can do about that. It's just trying to get that tiny thing on the top of his head is so damn hard. I am so tempted to try and find out what this guy's weakness is. Alright, you know what, I'm going to try Ring Man's power and see if it does any damage. I just need to keep... He, I thought he didn't shoot those balls until you actually got on the platforms. Now he's doing it all the time. Okay, well, it must be Ring. It must be Ring. Yeah, it is Ring Man, look at that. Well, I didn't really need to use all my energy tanks then, did I? No, I didn't. Because now I just found out this guy's weakness. And he is not going to push me around anymore. Ugh, there we go. Alright, okay. We did it. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, you know, the hardcore way. Because I was taking way too much damage. And I needed to save those energy tanks as well for the boss gauntlet. Alright, so here we go, this is it. Um, 
Well, I could do the I, could, I guess I could do the beginning part of the stage and get to the room where the boss gauntlet is. So I'll do that now. Because this stage isn't really that long, it's kind of short. So. Wow, two extra lives. Could you not be any more generous? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I, I do need some energy on some weapons, but... I don't know. I'm just gonna blaze it through this. I'm not gonna hang around for too long. Like, I've got plenty of extra lives and stuff, and energy tanks. I should be fine to get through this. Alright. So, we're falling down into the pit. Falling down into the pit where the boss gauntlet is. Right, so you know what guys, in the next episode let's play Mega Man 4, we shall do the boss gauntlet and make our way to the pre-final boss. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take your body, see you in the next video, and goodbye.